Alright guys, so uh, we're back and uh, we're gonna review no, uh, the most hands-on of the Charlie Mobile Flare S4 Plus. So this is the S4 Plus, so it has a 5.5 inch Full HD IGS OP OGS display. Uh, it looks really good. Um, it also packs a metal uh, frame and uh, non-removable back, although it's not bakal, pero yung sa gold niya, the texture niya medyo bakal. Pero this, this one, it's white. We got a plastic back, uh, glossy plastic back, pero sobrang solid niya feel niya kasi non-removable back, medyo mabigat because of the metal frame and it looks really, really good. Kita niya naman. So, black, black and light. Although, pag binoksan mo siya, hindi siya bezels lahat. Meron siya, eh, may bezel siya. Hindi siya screen lahat. Yeah, kala ko, ano eh, kala ko screen lahat. Oh. Eh. Wouldn't be nice, no, if you have, uh, uh, if all of the, all of this, uh, well, as you can see here naman, meron tayong, ano, uh, yung control buttons. Oh, and, yung capacity uh, buttons. So, capacity hindi buttons. Lang, hindi umiilaw eh, yung capacity buttons. Yeah, and, uh, medyo naano ako doon, nahihirapan ako yung umiilaw. Yeah, but nevertheless, the screen is still big. Oh, uh, it's still really good. good. It looks yeah. really, really good. It's uh, colorful, vivid, and uh, wala ng problema dun sa niya, dun sa display niya. Maganda, maganda. Uh, speaking of uh, specs, well, it does again a uh, big 5.5 inch uh, HD display, tamba 5.5, uh, 5.5, 5.5 yeah. full HD IPS OGS display. Uh, we got uh, an 8 megapixel camera on hand, 16 megapixel PSI camera sa likod. And uh, we know that BSI cameras are known for having uh, great uh, indoor shots. And yes, hindi na disappoint si Cherry Mobile Flare S4 Plus pagdating sa camera samples. And um, since non-removable back na siya, yung kanyang uh, SIM card slot, uh, nakalagay na dito sa side. So may dalawa tayo, micro SD and SIM card slot. So huwag kayong magalala, meron pa rin siyang uh, SIM card slot and micro SD. Actually, parts. hybrid ito eh. Uh -huh. um, so, dito mo insert yung dalawang SIM cards tayo. Mm -hmm. Pero yung isang SIM card, yung sa, sa Nano, I believe, uh, doon mo rin pwede isingit yung ano, micro SD. Yung micro SD. Ah, okay. Yeah. So, if you're not gonna use the other SIM card, sa yung Nano SIM card, doon mo ilagay yung, ano, yung micro SIM card. Mm -hmm. Ay, yung uh, mic micro SIM card. Doon mo ilagay yung micro SD card. Uh, so, parang yung mga na-review natin yung mga nakaraan ng smartphones. Yeah, may energy lang siya sabi hybrid. Pwede siyang dual, dual purpose siya actually. Uh, yeah, so, by the way, uh, katulad ng ibang Cherry Mobile Fair 4 series smartphones, uh, it's uh, powered by Android 5.1 Lollipop. So, um, I'm gonna show it to you. Actually, kaya medyo ma parang Nexus yung kanyang design kasi nag-novel launcher ako. Uh, I'll tell you later on kung bucket so yan kita niyo naman meron tayo na floppy floppy wala wala okay oh no yeah. meron floppy eh secret ano yun eh so may wala tayong time para patuloy niyan so when it comes to antutu i'm not sure kung nandito pa si antutu pero i got a score of 31954 um medyo okay na siya for a 6753 not that bad uh uh, before we talk about that, uh, let's talk about the display. Yes, 5.5 inch HD I I G full HD IGS OGS display siya. Pero may grab sa na konti eh. Mm. Uh, kasi yung display niya parang less yung responsive niya. Uh, I mean, resp okay naman. Pero for some gamers sa uh, talaga na gusto na mabilis na response, uh, you might have a problem with that. Kasi medyo may konting delay. Although I believe na software update lang mo fix na yung mga gantong problems ni Cherry Mobile Player S4 Plus. Alright, so marami rin siya pre-installed applications. Although I've installed some applications like Nova, OneDrive, everything. And um, okay, so um, bago pala yun, try natin yung default yung ating launcher. So makikita niyo yung default launcher na medyo baka kainisan niyo kasi ako nainis ako sa world launcher. So default natin. Clear uh, defaults. So, balik tayo sa home, launcher, yan. So, ito yung ano niya, medyo malalaki yung icons niya. Papansin yung talagang sakop na sakop. Hindi pinalit yung icons, sobrang laki niya. May konting delay, kung papansin nyo, may konting delay, naiiwan ng touch. Yan, so, uh, uh, but, uh, I mean, okay lang. Uh, Sasani ka rin. <laughs> Parang ganun. And then, um, of course, dito tayo sa novel launcher, mas mabilis, mas masarap gamitin, and mas spacious. 
Uh, walang tayo masyadong applications na kasama dito aside from wireless updates, Skype, yep, Spring installed si Skype, Opera Mini, uh, and a lot uh, of applications like Cherry Play, Cherry Fun, Fun Club. So, um, sa camera, again, Reg, it has a 16 megapixel BSI camera. One of the best sa Flare series. And, uh, sa Flare series, probably ito yung may pinakamagandang camera, camera, camera. Sa, maganda na po niya. Maganda. Uh, although, hindi ako naka-HDR dito, kaya medyo maputi yung display ng Mac. Pero, kita nyo kung kano, ka-crisp, and wala masyadong noise yung, uh, yung keys na pinicture ko. Again, this is an indoor shot. Wala masyadong light, pero thanks to the BSI camera, pinaliwanag ni Cherry Mobile Flare S4 Plus um, shot. So, ito, makikita nyo medyo colorful siya. Mm -hmm. Indoor again, indoor shot, kasi hindi naman tayo masyadong nagkakamera araw lately. Uh, ayan, so, kita-kita nyo yung kulay nung, uh, nung pillow. Yeah, okay na. Okay. Talagang pumuputok yung kulay. Okay. Although, medyo may pagka-noise eh, and uh, hindi siya sobrang sharp. Pero, it's still okay. Especially for a smartphone for, uh, with a price tag of 7999 Ito, isa pa. Katabi lang kanina. Kasi, dalawang shot lang yun. Ang ganda niya. Uh, yan, so, hindi basa, pero, I believe na maganda na siya for its uh, price. And, sa performance ay, Natutuwa ko. Ayan, no? so basa naman yung certificate notice to the public. Although, again, medyo konting delay lang sa display. Yun yeah, yung problema. Yun lang talaga. Um, How about yung gaming jam? What do you think about Yeah, that? the gaming. So, punta tayo sa gaming. So, I always saan natin ito. Tayo sa gaming. So, we have uh, one of the most demanding games sa uh, Android. And it's the Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. So, offline. This is a really great smartphone to play with kasi 5.5 inch in display, maliwanag. We got a 2,800 mAh of battery that can last up to uh, a day or more, depende sa usage nyo. Pero sa akin, kaya niya tumagal isang araw, which is really rare sa isang smartphone. Yeah, let's increase the volume. Okay, so. Medyo malakas yung, bat yung volume niya. Nandito sa baba yung speaker grill niya. Medyo malakas siya. Skip na natin to kasi ito yung... You wanna drive? Oh, yeah, that's cool. Lakas. Nice Lakas car, smoke. And, that's kind of gonna feel, pag naglalaro ka. Parang salamin nga yung likod niya eh. Alam yung feel ng Note 5? Mm -hmm. Parang ganun eh, kahit plastic yung likod niya. Hindi ko lang kung bakit na rin yun na feel ko. Kasi bakal din kasi yung sides eh. Siguro yun na rin yung nakatulong. Feel ko talaga parang Note 5 siya pag ginahawakan. I really, really, really like the, uh, the perfection. Alright guys, so just to give you an idea, this game is uh, set at the max settings. Alright, so... So, yan. Kita nyo naman yung gameplay, it's very smooth. Maganda yung graphics niya, and... Uh, malakas yung sound. Kita nyo naman yung lighting. Ayan, pinas na bangga ako. Kita nyo naman yung lighting niya, and uh, texture. Kita nyo eh, uh, nag-glossy siya, yung gradients were really good. Makikita nyo yung difference between other uh, chipsets na running on the same settings. Mas optimized yung ano yan. Ganda. Ganda. Ibang klase. I don't, don't expect the same performance sa ibang games kasi sometimes yung performance sa isang laro nagde-depend din sa dun sa software. Uh, I mean, dapat uh, optimized din sa chipset, sa GPU, sa CPU ng isang smartphone. So, yeah. Uh, try lang natin dalhin sa isang cutscene and let's check out if mabilis pa rin ang ano um, performance so, so kita nyo na kung maganda mabilis pa rin even at the cutscenes everything is really good so far so good and I'm really impressed with the performance ni Cherry Mobile Flare S4 Plus yeah remember yung mga smartphones before yung mga nasa Flare S2 Flare 2 tayo Flare S3 no actually not S3, the Flare 2 series. Mm -hmm. Back then, parang hindi pa niya kaya patakbuhin natin smartphones. Pero tingnan nyo ngayon, today, the Flare 4 yeah, series smartphones. Yun yung ibang games, yung mga pinaka-heavy games that time. And that's why running on quad-core, ha? Oh, Pero, I mean... Kasi mababang quad-core lang sila ng ano eh. Mababang quad-core. Quad-core sila nung time yun, pero hindi pa ganun kataas yung hmm, quad-core. Hindi pa yung ano yung... yung, 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 yung murang quad-core na hindi quad-core. Ah, quad-core pala, yes, yes. Which is hindi naman ganun. Hindi naman ganun kabilis. Uh, yeah, well, nangitignan nyo guys, we're on the Flare series and yet we could run 
some of the most powerful uh, graphic intensive games. Graphic intensive games for that. Yeah. Uh, I'm really impressed. The vibe is good, the camera is good, the battery is good. Although the problem is that it's not so not so responsive display. But I believe na I address the Cherry Mobile with the software update soon. Ngayon jam, if you're going to choose, no, ito yung magiging tanong sa inyo nung ano, ito yung actually tanong sa atin ng mga flare, fanat- flare fanatics. Mm-hmm. If you're going to choose, Flare X or Flare S4 Plus? That's a really good question. Kasi marami nagtatanong. The Flare X is priced at $6,999, right? This one is $7,999. I believe na masulit to. For 7999, that's 1000 pesos difference. Pero iba yung kanyang build quality. The build quality is really really good. It's great. It's premium. Walang 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 Flare series na makakatapat sa sa build quality ng Flare 4 smartphone. This is the best uh na feel na nahawa ko sa isang Flare Mobile smartphone. Sulit to sulit yung 1000 na mo wala sayo. Although non-removable siya. But who cares? We got a power bank already. We got Pixie's power banks to cover you for that. Uh, the camera is really good. Uh, so far, dito the Flare X sulit eh, the Flare S4 Plus sulit yung 1,000 pesos the difference the Flare X and the Flare S4 Plus. All right. So, How about you, Reg? Well, uh, for me, um, if I haven't bought the Flare uh, Flare X and the Flare S4 Plus. I would suggest to get, and I would pick, and I would suggest uh, at the same time to everyone to get the Flare S4 Plus mm-hmm. also. Uh, because, you know, yeah, you want to know, you'll get more value for the price of $7,999. Right. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, and, uh, by the way, it's Android 5.1. Uh, si Flare X nasa 4.4. So, if you, kasi mga may reklamo, although, di naman ako kansin yung difference minsan, eh, di ba? Oh, yeah, so, oh. Naka, ano, although may, ano na, may pending upgrade, si, you know, oh, pending Flare X. And uh, not just Flare X, along with other, the Flare uh, 3 series na smartphone. Yeah, so pag na-upgrade na si Flare X ko, okay, di ba, di gaya na, babalik ako doon, babalik ako doon. So yeah, that's for the Charlie Mobile Flare S4 Plus, and I hope you're happy with our hands-on review. Yeah. So again, the price is $7,999, it should be available soon. And uh, yeah, no, thanks, uh, thanks, Jan, for uh, for uh, sharing your thoughts about the Flare S4 Plus. Uh, yeah, dito dito na tatapos ng ano natin ng episode natin for uh, for today. And uh, see you next weekend for you know, for for the latest news and has on reviews of the Secret Republic. Uh, you can follow us at on Twitter at the Secret Republic. Facebook is facebook.com slash the secret public and of course please subscribe to our YouTube channel youtube.com slash the DR networks and Jam uh, on behalf of Jam this is DR signing off and uh, see you next week